नमस्ते गुड आफ्टरनून दिस इज शेफ हलीम आई हैव जॉइन हियर एज एग्जीक्यूटिव सू शेफ आई स्टार्टेड माई कैरियर विद पार्क हैथ गोवा आफ्टर दैट आई मूव टू अकॉर्ड प्रॉपर्टी देन अगेन दिस इज माई सेकेंड होटल इन हयात आई हैव जॉइन रिसेंटली एंड देन टूडे इन दिस ऑस्पिशियस ओकेजन ऑफ दशन आई एम प्रेजेंटिंग माई सिग्नेचर डिश विच इज लैम लैम वेलिंगटन बुटवा टूगेदर विथ मार्शी राइस spice up with uh, timur lamb ju so we have the ingredients for uh, for that uh, recipe we have some uh, chopped ginger chopped garlic uh, cumin powder coriander powder chili powder garam masala powder salt then we have turmeric chopped chilies ginger garlic paste uh, chopped coriander leaves chopped onion and then for the offals we have assorted offals so for that we have uh, lungs and kidney blanched uh in a uh, blanch in water for 20 to 30 minutes boiled in water then after that we cool it down and make it uh, we make it into small cubes after that we have the stomach which is made in the same way blanched uh, boiled for uh, uh, 30 minutes then chopped then we have uh, small intest uh, we have intestine and the other intestine with the fat so these are our ingredients to start with the butwa stuffing then after that we will make a wellington where we will roll in a puff paste so i will start with that one So I have started the pan. Uh, I'll start with some oil first. So I will start with the stuffing first. I will start with some chopped onion. So we have to let it little nice color until uh, light color, light brown. After that, I'll be use adding some garlic, chopped garlic, and some chopped ginger. So the main ingredient is mutton, but uh, we are not using the meat or uh, any. Uh, any expensive cut we are using the offals uh, which is traditionally also eaten in the nepali cuisine so here i am adding the kidney and the lungs then the stomach then intestine then the other intestine okay so we have to let it saute nicely until it has a nice golden color so that the raw smell or the off smell leaves and we have a nice uh, flavored uh, uh, toasted aroma of the of the offals At this time, we can add some spices. We can add some salt. Then we can add some turmeric. So we have to let it cook for uh, like 15 to 20 minutes. So it's nicely caramelized and the flavor is very uh, toasty flavor. Make sure you stir from time to time because it will start to stick at the bottom. So you have to be careful while sauteing this one and uh, be careful and uh, have an eye on the pan. So we saute with the salt and turmeric because if we put the other spices, there is a chances that it will burn. So we'll put the other spices and the seasoning at the last. So the so it's almost done. You can see here nice bubbles are coming, and the fat from the offals are coming out, and it's like a toasting. It will give you a very nice texture. So just be careful, and uh, be careful with that. Maybe the some oil will come on your face. So just be careful for that. as you can see by this time the the pieces have become shrunk and because of its toasted so you have seen that lot of fat has coming out that's why in the in the starting you should always start with the less fat so that the offals already have lot of fat inside it will release its fats so no need to put so much of fat in the beginning okay so now it's almost toasted so we will i will slow the flame then we put on the spices everything so slow it down you can see the color the color is very nice like a golden brown then we will put the other spices so we can put some chili powder coriander powder turmeric ja this one is a cumin powder and last is garam masala and some people if they like spicy uh, we can add some chilies so it's stated totally depend on your taste you can add chilies how much you want so the chilies at the last will go and you can finish up with the coriander leaves chop coriander leaves so you can see that the color and the texture and very nice aroma is coming from when you are toasting the spices with the coriander leaves very nice aroma is coming now this is almost done we will turn it off and we will proceed to the next step so the next dish is uh, making the marsi rice uh, the marsi rice is one of the organic rice which is uh, uh, generally cultivated in the higher altitudes of the nepal the district is uh, jumla which is also called as the organic district of nepal where the use of the pesticides and the fertilizers are banned it's very healthy it's high in uh, fibers and uh, has a high nutritive value after that you just uh, 
uh, boil it like a normal rice, uh, take a water, add the rice, you add some salt, add some ghee and let it boil nicely. The idea is to retain all the starch from it because the starch has all the nutrients and fibers. So what you do is don't put too much of water, you cook, uh, you put water little by little, as soon as it absorbs, you you keep on adding little by little oil so at the end you, you don't need to drain the water so by that way if you cook it will take uh, 15 to 20 minutes and the end product will be like this uh, it's like a sticky because it has a lot of starch and gluten in that and it's very healthy so we are heading to our next dish uh, which is a part of the component of the wellington which we will layer inside the wellington so we will start with the sauteing of the mushroom and the spinach so i will start with the sauteing of some spinach just take some oil uh, if you want, you can add some garlic, so you can put some garlic flavor. Garlic and spinach goes well. So this is local, the spinach available here. And if you want, you can use any greens of your choice. But traditionally, spinach is used in this recipe. Season with some salt. We don't need to cook the spinach too much because we just need it half cooked because it will again cook in the oven. So in the same pan, we can use some oil again, olive oil, ghee, whatever is your choice, butter, it's up to you. If you want to go healthy, you can use the olive oil. So we'll start with the mushroom. So just don't cook too much because remember we have to bake it again, the wellington after we roll it. Next, we can saute some cherry tomatoes for garnish. We can add some thyme also. So uh, we have assembled all our ingredients, what is required. So we have a butwa already, which I show you how to prepare a while ago. Then we have sauteed mushroom, spinach. So this is how we will start the next roll. We will, this is the time we will assemble everything and we will bake it. So I will start with the base of the spinach first. After that, you can put a lot of mushrooms. So just uh, try to make a bed and after you saute, make sure it's cooled down properly. So after Apart from after that, we will put our the one we cook, the lamb butwa, which is uh, I showed you earlier. Okay, then you arrange it nicely. After that, we have to put the egg wash on the sides. Then we flip like this and cut if I have any excess puff dough. The dough I am using is a puff dough. You can easily get in the supermarket. Then you fold it like this. Okay, make sure you press the both the sides and all the excess. Okay. So this is almost done. Now we will put some egg wash on top. Then we will bake in the oven for 200 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes. So this one I have make a Timur spiced uh, uh, lamb jew. So lamb jew, lamb stock which is reduced to a thickening consistency. And if it's, uh, you can add some uh, uh, thickening, you can add, make some roux. So it's made from the lamb bones. So what I did, I just infuse with the Timur, which is a, a local spice over here and very popular. So make sure that this consistency is like that, not too runny and not too thick. Okay. After 25, 20 to 25 minutes, uh, we bake in the oven and the finished product will be like that. So you have to let it rest for few seconds, like uh, or few one or two minutes. So let's go. So this is very delicate. Make sure you do it nicely. Then we can make some rice. So your butwa wellington is done, ready to serve. Dasai ko subkabna. Savai ko savai bhandaramro. Ratapati.com.